Yeah. But right now, you know, I'm not really to think about that. But I'm excited to go back. Back to tonight's game, what was it like on the field afterwards, that big celebration, all the confetti flying? It was cool. It was awesome. I didn't go up on the stage. I just sat there with my wife, and we just watched all the kids celebrate and jumping up and down and how excited they were and the smiles on their face. And, you know, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears goes into a championship season. There's a lot of parts involved and a lot of people involved, and the ball has to bounce right and the things like that. And um, I couldn't be more proud at this moment and happy for the kids, our staff, Coach Kelly, and everybody that's involved in this University of Oregon football team. What would it mean to you guys to get that elusive win in the BCS Bowl? Might not come down from a high for about three weeks, but we'll see. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you. Do you feel like there's a sense of urgency to get that win? No, not right now. Right now, I'm just thinking about how good it feels to there's a lot of pressure in these games. You know, Stanford was a big game. USC was a huge game. Oregon State, your rival, is always a tough game. And then you got to play one more. Kids got it done. So right now, I'm just relishing in the moment and uh, feel real good about it. And tomorrow is the first day off in over four months. So that feels really good. Thanks. Three straight conference you, you interviewed me from Comcast. Yeah. Jen. Jenny. Jen. Three straight conference What does that mean Obviously, it's, it's incredible. It's, it's, you take a lot of pride in this. You know, we collectively, you know, you're talking to me. So I don't want to be like the focal point of this thing because I don't deserve to be the focal point of this. I'm just the spokesman. But we put in a lot of time together as a staff. You know, they almost become your brothers. You see them more than your kids. You see them more than your wife. You see the players more than your own kids. And you put a lot of, four months, you know, you walk into this thing on August 1st this year, and here it is, December 2nd, and uh, three in a row. This feels tremendous right now. I mean, who would think that after going to the BCS game last year and all the great seniors that we lost, that this was going to be, you know, what it is? And it feels really good right now. How proud are you of these seniors? There's only about 10 or 11 of them. I'm always proud of the seniors, no matter what the record is. When they've made it through this program, to see them grow from the time they come in as a freshman and to see what an Eddie Pleasant's like now, what an Anthony Gillen's like now, a Terrell Turner who had to move positions, a Brandon Hanna, uh, a DeWitt Stuckey. You know, I don't want to miss anybody, uh, and I probably did because it's hard to think when you're so excited. But to see these guys grow up into young men that Josh could do, I recruited Josh out of Vacaville. He didn't know what was going on. And and now these guys are just grown up men that they've won three Pac-10 championships. It's cool.